I guess I want to apologize first because I know what kind of wrench this kind of throws into your whole situation. But I also, at the same time, knew this was <laughs> the only way. You know, I've been pretty vocal, I think, from the beginning, as soon as you stepped out of that limo, about what I thought about you. You intrigued me. And you continued to all through everything that you did on that season. Your openness, you're bold, you're confident, but you have this like playfulness to you and a, and a humor that I can really relate to, for <laughs> sure. And now, I don't know what you're thinking right now and it's driving oh, me because I've been ranting here, but I had so many points I want to talk to you about and I'm like, I just need to get it out and just calm down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what the hell? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure who I was gonna see. I know. I don't know, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm like so flustered right now. I obviously have seen Blake on Tasha's season. In fact, Blake and I have talked through the DMs. You know, Blake reached out to commend me for my bold personality. And I mean, he's a very handsome guy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just still taking this all in right now, you know? Like, the last person I thought I'd see is you. You know, like, I, I just expected my journey to continue with the guys in the house, and to see you here, it's like a dream <laughs> or a nightmare. I haven't <laughs> yeah, decided yet. Or, yeah. <laughs> Time would tell with that. For yeah. Sure. But. Um, <sighs> I mean, it is concerning that you've dated, at this point, two bachelorettes. If you stay, I will be now your third bachelorette. And I'll be honest, in the house, there's been a lot of uh, drama regarding who's here for the right reasons and who's not. Mm -hmm. And so that's still kind of fresh on my heart. And obviously it is a little concerning that here you are for now your third time. And I completely get that. I wish that I could have met you in another circumstance. Like this is the last place I want to do this. There's the risk in this going terribly, me looking like a complete idiot is high, but the reward is so much greater than that risk for me. And like, you're beautiful, but to everything else that you bring to the table, you check boxes that no one else has. And it just comes down to the fact that I would what if and regret forever if I didn't do this. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, I definitely have already started to form pretty good connections. And so that's that's one of the things I'm kind of conflicted with, you know? Mm. Do I feel like something could be there with us? I'll be honest. <laughs> maybe. 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 I'll take the, I'll take the maybe. I'll ah! take the maybe. I will take that. <laughs> but it's also like thinking back to the house and, and who I've already spent time with, do I risk everything? I, I don't know. I don't know. I promise you that if it came down to the end and we connected the way that I think that we might, we would be engaged at the end of this. Wow. I didn't come here to disappoint. Yeah. And I won't do that to you. It's just not me. You're a troublemaker. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. <laughs> but first. you know what? That could be a really good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Oh gosh. All right. Well, obviously I need to kind of like still take in what's happening. But um, <laughs> thank you for now. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll let you know when I kind of figure things out. Sure. It was nice to finally meet you in person. Yes, you too. <laughs> And um, I don't even know. I know, I know. I'm still like speechless. Take the time. Yeah. I really do think Blake is being sincere by being here. But I mean, it's a huge decision to have Blake come into the house. I have strong connections that are already forming. And it would kill me to feel that those were disrupted if I chose to bring in Blake. I'll, I'll hear from you eventually. <laughs> Good or bad, I'll hear from you.